Now let us see some concepts of bits and bytes in Java. Now we have that in Java every variable is signed. So there is no unsigned variable in Java. Now how does this, what is meant by signed variable and how does this affect the value of a variable. Now let us see for a case of a byte variable which is 8 bits in size. So let us see a number which is 0, 0, 1, 1. Let me take a simpler number. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So bit byte is the eight bit number. So for a byte, in case the variable is unsigned, in case the variable unsigned, this means that every bit of the number it contributes to the value. This means all eight bits of this number they will contribute to the value. So whereas in case the number is signed the last extreme left bit this will account for the sign and only 7 bits will contribute to the value. So this is the difference between a signed and unsigned variable that in case of signed variable the extreme left bit it gives the sign of the variable and the 7 bits they contribute to the value of the variable whereas for an unsigned variable every variable is considered positive and every a bit will contribute to the value of the number. Suppose I say a number such as 0. Suppose I have a number such as this. Now for an unsigned variable this will be 2 to power 1 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So for an unsigned variable the value of this number is 130. Now for a signed variable, as 1 is the extreme left, so this number is negative. Now how to calculate the magnitude of a negative number? Just drop this off. To calculate the magnitude of a negative number, we need to calculate the 1's complement. 1's complement is converting 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. And then we need to calculate the 2's complement. And now we will calculate the value of this. It's 2. Oh, I have not added 1, sorry. So, I made a small mistake here. We need to add 1 to this number. So 1, 1 is 10, 1 carry over, 1 plus 0 is 1, again 1, again 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0. So what is this number? This is 2, this is 4, this is 8, 16, 32, and 64. So this becomes 96. 96, 112, 120, 124, 126. So this number is equal to 126 but as it was a negative on the extreme left this number is, number is one, minus 126. So we can see this is the difference in a signed and an unsigned variable. For any <coughs> variable which has 1 in the extreme left unsigned it will make no difference and it will continue as we calculate a value for a normal variable. But for a signed variable, this will completely change the number as we will have to calculate the 2's complement for the number and then see the magnitude from the 2's complement and add a minus sign to the number. So this gives the value in signed and this gives us the value in unsigned. But for Java, all variables are signed. So extreme left bit is always reserved for sign and the 7 bits that are available, they will contribute to the value. So the range for byte variable as you may have already seen is minus 2 to power 7 to 2 to power 7 minus 
1. So this is because we have 7 here because only 7 bits are contributing to the magnitude of the number. Otherwise had this been unsigned we would have had value of 2 to power 8 and no negative because then there is no value on the negative side. Every number is considered to be positive.